Alright, uh, second time attempting this one because the first one ended in horrible failure. Um, I've said this a lot, but this is really for sure now where the, um, like, it's not going to be syncing up with the Metroid playthrough anymore because there's no way I'm going to be able to beat Mother Brain in this segment. This area takes too long to get through. So let's waste no time in getting there, and then proceed to immediately waste some time by watching this cutscene. Which I could sk I could speed it up. Here's a non inter oh yeah, and there's also like a black square in the top left corner. I don't know why. It, lo it looks weird to me. Um, the first time I ever saw that cutscene was on the ROM because I had the game, but then lost it, and then found that, and then I had to play through it on the ROM again. And then I found the game later on, and it's like, for some reason, I always remember that because like the first time I saw that cutscene was on here, and so like I never really considered it part of the game. I really don't know why. Okay, so yeah, those guys uh, take five missiles to kill as always. I can only hold two, so we're in for a fun little romp. And this time I'm not going to make the mistake of jumping down and getting attacked by four Metroids at once. Which I actually did survive, but then I died in the next row. And at this point of the playthrough, I somehow... quoted the strong bad email called Diorama. I said, like... And if the attackers happen to be the signers of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, then that's bound to be pretty messed up too. But I can't remember, for the life of me, what made me say that. I'm sure it would have been a lot more funny in context, but like, what the hell was the context, seriously? How could I have possibly come up with that quote on the fly? Uh... uh I really hate these things. If you didn't have to kill them, it would be so much better. But the doors don't open until you do. The Space Pirates wanted to make sure that you totally ruin their plans before you can go on and further ruin their plans. I don't know. Oh, there's another one? Alright, and I have a super missile now, but I'm not going to use it, because I'm going to save that for when I get into a really sticky situation. You could say that this was quite a sticky situation, and then everybody laughs. It was a weird episode of South Park. For some reason, the episode was called A City on the Edge of Tomorrow, I think. Oh, come on, give me something. Don't make me waste the super missile. It's gonna make me waste the super missile, isn't it? Because it's not giving me anything. Oh, there we go. Uh, figuring out what my buttons are. I keep complaining about this. I might as well explain it now. Uh, I moved the L and R buttons to caps lock and L, which are not at all what they usually are for me. And so I'm, get, I'm having a lot of trouble getting used to that, and I only moved them because the keyboard doesn't let you hold that many buttons at once, and so it becomes sort of necessary at times to, like, move them into awkward places like that. It's not that bad. I can... oh god. I can usually figure it out, what, figure out what it is I'm doing, it's just that... I suck. Forever. And I could be using the controller too, but oh, that's never gonna happen. Well... I don't know, it's just sort of a, making a statement against controllers for no reason. It would obviously make things a lot easier here. And I can't even complain about it, the microphone picking up all the little clicks and clacks of the buttons either, because it wouldn't be doing that because this microphone sucks. I still really hope to be getting a better one soon, but I haven't actually. Two super missiles! Jeez. Guess I should have just used it, but how was I supposed to know? Okay, you know what? Screw it, I'm just using it. Well, there we go again. That is very strange. Uh, 
Okay, now it stopped giving me them. Oh god. Why are there so many of them? And why are they huge? I'm just, I'm so used to them being small in the Prime games whenever you play the 2D ones and they're freaking huge. It's like, whoa, my god. Yes, it's like, whoa, my god. You heard me. Uh, unfortunately, this is going to be the bulk of the segment here, is killing Metroids. I don't think I'm going to be getting to the end of this, but eh, you never know. Oh god, think there's enough of them? Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, making pathetic noises. <laughs> this is so bad. I'm so bad at this, like... There's gotta be some, like, easy, elegant way to take care of these, but I just don't know how. So I just freak the hell out and shoot all over the place and hope for the best. Oh, go away! Uh, give me more. I'm saving that one. Because I think this one's almost dead. I can't tell at all. You have to keep track of the, like, life bars of three separate ones at the same time. Okay, I guess it wasn't. I thought it only had, like, one hit left. Apparently it has at least three. Yeah, there we go. Um, there's another one. Oh, and there's another one. Do they really have to put 90 of them in each room? And I know that I'm not saying anything of interest here, but I can't possibly think of anything to talk about while dealing with giant space jellyfish of doom. I, they certainly picked a good enemy to name the series after. What if they named it after the SpaghettiOs? And I still haven't seen any of the green ones either, so people are going to keep calling me a liar until I do. And I am dying. There we go, a little bit. Uh, uh. Oh, thank you for coming down here. I, it was so lonely without you. I will call you Debbie. Now I will kill Debbie. Oh my god. Why am I not speeding any of this up? Wait, why did I, I grab that health either? I like how all these pirates died. Like, what, did they all, did the Metroids just escape from somewhere? I, I have no idea. Why did, why were they not in tanks? You don't even see any shattered tanks in the background either, unless they, unless there are, oh, there's a green one, see? See? Applejacks. Applejacks used to all be orange too, but then they added the green ones. And then they changed the slogan from, it doesn't taste like apple. Well, not really, but it wasn't that, but it, like that was their gimmick. And now they, like, admit that it does. Uh, uh, cereal commercials are the worst commercials. You can't deny this. All of them are about, like, chasing after the cereal, or it, like, being the only thing that anyone cares about. Like, seriously, what the hell? You're gonna shoot something at me? No, you're not. You're gonna make me go down there and deal with both of them. Oh, th there you go. And of course, I miss it. Get. I can't even bomb jump over him. Come on, do something! Uh. Nope, not giving me anything. I'm just gonna do this. Wait, no, I have a good song for that. Uh, as soon as I... Come on. Okay, it's still not doing anything. I have to be high up enough for it to shoot one, and then I just have to hope that it gives me something, even though it never does. 
Oh my god, this is boring. Give me a super missile. DVD player! Start digging up the street again, for the love of god. <laughs> okay, now I'm just quoting home movies, totally out of context. Come on. Don't make me quote home movies even more. Or Venture Brothers. Could quote that too. Number 37! Burn his sheets! I haven't seen that show in forever. But yeah, I, a couple days ago... Oh god, I'm almost out of time. Uh, never mind, I'm not gonna quote it. It was the thing about the no-nos. Um... I was hoping to kill this one before the segment was over. Not gonna happen, so next time, more Metroids.